Hello. Welcome everyone into my channel Saskiano, with UMD. In this video, we're going to explore how to create animation in After Effects using keyframes. A keyframe records the value of any parameter on a layer at a specific point in time, based on where the current time indicator is. When you record that keyframe to show you what I mean. We'll go ahead and create an animation where this balloon floats into the scene. And we'll create better animation using keyframes. To start let's select layer 1 by clicking on the word balloons. And then go to the left side of the layer. And click the arrow to open up all their options. The arrow to the left of the word transform to open up its options you'll see. We have several different parameters. We can animate I know I can animate them. Because I have a stopwatch to the left of each parameter. Now since we want the subject to move in the scene. We want to animate the position if we look to the right of each of these parameters. We see blue numbers the left number here is for the x-axis which is the horizontal axis. And the right number here is for the y the axis which will move the balloon up and down. So let's start by clicking and dragging by holding. Here mouth sound it will drag to the right directly over the y the parameter in the scrub. Until you see the balloon disappear off the bottom of the screen. Once it's disappeared go back to the left side of the word position and click once on the stopwatch to add your first keyframe. Once you've created one keyframe clicking the stopwatch. You don't need to click the stopwatch any other time. All you need to do is move your current time indicator to a different frame. I want this balloon to float up into the scene over 2 seconds, so click and drag on my current time indicator and move it to 2 seconds of the timeline. I can see it's 2 seconds right here in the lower left corner of the composition panel. Or in the upper left corner of the timeline. Now I am at 2 seconds notice there's no keyframe I need to change the position value added 30 frames. This time I'm going to hold down shift and then click and drag on the Y parameter and drag to the left holding down shift allows the object to move 10 times. As fast as we click and drag or scrub or net value. Click and drag until the balloon floats up to position you like I set mine at a value of 520. Now notice I have this line that's appeared this line is called the motion passed and all know that this balloon moves correctly in a vertical fashion. Because that line is perfectly straight in order to see a preview of the animation. I'll go ahead and press the spacebar, and that will allow my current time indicator to move down the timeline. And then go through the different frames to preview the animation. Notice how abruptly the balloon stops, that's because these keyframes are called linear keyframes. So I'll press the spacebar to stop playback. Here I know these keyframes are linear because of their diamond shaped. I want to change the intercalation of these keyframes. Which will change the motion of the object between the two key frits. Make sure both keyframes are selected. I'll go to the left side of the timeline here and click once on the work position. Under those keyframes are selected because they turn blue. Now I can right click on either one of the keyframes. And go to the keyframe assistant and choose easy ease which is going to change the interpolation. Now if I press the space bar I can see a preview of my animation. And notice now the balloon is just floating up into the scene. And it slowly resolves to its final resting position. I'll press the space bar one more time to stop playback. Now, remember that line if you look at the line you'll notice there is a gray circle if you click and drag on that circle, that will change the angle of the motion past. So I'm going to click and drag to the left. So the balloon floats up to the left and then resolves back into this position. Now press the space bar one more time to preview the animation. And you'll see the balloon floats in a different pattern. And still resolves nicely because the keyframes are. Now set the keys. So keyframes are the primary method for creating animation in After Effects. As you can see once you create your keyframes, you can further adjust how things animate while dusting the motion past or right clicking on the keyframe to change the keyframe interpolation. Here we go we are done for today's tutorial. Leave your comment down below in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed it. If the video was helpful for you to hit on the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to turn the bell button on so you don't miss the next videos. And if you have time to learn more, look at the old videos on the channel. See you in a new video soon. Goodbye.